Hey guys, so the NHL draft is now all wrapped up for 2020. And this video is just a full review of the Montreal Canadiens draft this year. And we're going to start off with the Habs first round pick, 16th overall, in Caden Gooley. As you can see here on the screen, these are all of the Habs draft picks from this year. And overall, I think they had a pretty good draft. It's definitely not the best. I think Carolina is a team that did really well. Rangers, they did very well, not only because they got first overall pick, they also got a steal in Braden Schneider, 19, he slipped. The Capitals, they got Hendricks Lapierre. So some good te some teams got some very good players in this draft, but I think the Habs are actually probably a bit ahead of the middle of the pack, as I'd say they'd probably have a top 10 draft, as I think they got the steal of the second round in Jan Mysak. Okay, so starting off with the 16th overall pick, Caden Gooley. He is a big left shot defenseman, something that the Habs could use, and it's not necessarily a desperate need, and as big of a need as just an elite forward or a big scoring power forward, which he did get in Josh Anderson, but we just need more size. And I think getting Gooley is some good size in the back end. He had some decent numbers with the Prince Albert Raiders of WHL. He put up 40 points in 64 games, and I'm pretty Pretty sure he is more of a defensive defenseman, but he's actually the brother of Brendan Gooley, who is a defenseman of the Buffalo Sabres. He is a pretty good top four defenseman, but I think Caden Gooley can be a second pairing defenseman for the Habs. If not, maybe even he can be a first pairing number two defenseman, and I think that is probably his ceiling, but He's a pretty low-risk pick here, and I think that he is definitely going to be an NHL player for the Habs, as he is 6'3", and he's a pretty physical player, so this is very good, as we don't need, definitely don't need right shot defense, but I mean, we got Weber, he is old, and Petrie is also old, but they're not too old, and that is not a big need, especially, I think, uh, Kale Fleury is a right shot defenseman as well. Now, Victor Mete is, I think, our best left shot, young left shot defenseman right now. So I think Caden Gooley is a really good addition. I still think Dawson Mercer would be the better pick as I think they could easily transition him to be a winger. And he is just such a good player. He puts up a lot of points. And he did get picked for Team Canada in the World Juniors. He did really not have much of a role. He was their 13th forward. He didn't really do much. But Team Canada still picked him ahead of Cole Perfetti, which I think was pretty big. And he did fall to, I believe, number 18 to the New Jersey Devils. But I think Gooley still was probably a good number two choice for me. And overall, I think it's a good pick. So now let's take a look at our two straight second round picks. The 47th overall pick, Luke Tuck, and 48th overall pick, Jan Mysak. Luke Tuck played for the U.S. National Under-18 team, and he's the brother of Alex Tuck, who plays for Vegas. He is a pretty good middle six forward, and I think that is what Luke Tuck will turn into as well. And Luke Tuck is a big winger, so they're adding some more size in Luke Tuck. And Jan Mysak, I love this pick. As I said, he is the steal of the second round. I had him going 24th overall to the Washington Capitals in my mock draft, and I thought he'd probably be going in the early or mid-20s of the first round, and he has dropped to the Habs pick in the second round, so I am very hyped about this pick. I think he will be a very good second liner, second line center. We don't need centers, but I think this is just too good to pass on in Jan Mysak. Now, we did pass on two defensemen, Jeremy Poirier and Lucas Cormier, and Cormier actually had going in the first round, 31st overall in my mock draft. Poirier wasn't in the first round of my mock draft, but I thought he'd be a high second round pick as well. They both ended up going in the third round. I think the Habs could have taken either of them, as there are two both really good defensemen, but overall, I am happy. Um... But yeah, Mysak and Tuck, two very good players. I don't really know anything about all the other players, though. Jacob 
Dobis, I think that's how you pronounce it. He played in the USHL. He's a goalie that we picked in the fifth round. And he probably could be a solid backup maybe for us. I don't know much, but he maybe could be an NHLer. I don't know. But the draft, especially our first three picks, the ones that really matter, went really well, which I think is a really good sign. Trevor Kimmins has drafted really well for us in the past. And very recently, we've had some really good picks, especially Caden Primo's turned out really well. I don't think Jacob Dobes will turn out to be like Primo, but I think he could still maybe end up being a, pro a decent goalie if he is developed properly. Properly, We did pick three straight centers, though, in Jan Mysak, Jack Smith, who was a fourth-round pick, and Blake Biondi, who was another fourth-round pick. But overall, all those other picks, they don't seem too bad as well, but... I'm very happy with this draft. I think they did really well. Uh, but we didn't get, we didn't do what we did in the last draft. We got Cole Caulfield, which is the steal of the draft, 15th overall. But I still do think we did pretty well. Gooley was probably the second best player available at that point. He's the best defenseman available. John Mysak, 100% best player available here. And we add some size in Luke puck so overall a very very good draft for the Habs I'm very happy about it I'd say top 10 draft but please tell me what you think in the comments below and if you'd like me to do a review for any other teams in this draft but thank you for watching as always please remember to like and subscribe but we'll see you in the next one